Here you go. Okay, so this is gonna be the outside of the heart, as if you were looking at someone else and this is their heart. That's what it's gonna look like. So this is going to be the left oracle and you're going to have a little indent right here and that's gonna be your interventricular sulcus. Um, down here, the point, that's gonna be the apex. And then up top, generally, this is gonna be the base of the heart. Um, so you got the base of the heart, I'm um, sorry, base of the heart, apex, interventricular sulcus is going to be this little line that separates the left and the right. Um, and so up here, the left oracle, the oracle is just the name of the pouch. So you have the left oracle is the pouch, and then inside is going to be the atrium. Um, up here, this big one right here, this big opening that we have is going to be the pulmonary trunk. And then if we flip it around just to the other side um, this kind of coming right off the top this big one is going to be our aorta oh my gosh I can't hold this this is going to be the aorta this big opening right here um, it kind of comes right out of the middle up top um, and then this one is going to be our right oracle and then Right in here, this opening is going to be our inferior vena cava. This would come up and there would be a superior vena cava, um, but we don't have one. So I think we're just gonna dive in and go on the inside. So now if we open up our heart, um, remember we're on our front view right now. So once we open up, you can kind of see all these little strings in here and basically these strings are going to be the chordae tendinae um, and you can see this muscle where they're attaching at this muscle where they're attaching um, is going to be the papillary muscle um, and so this meets up with the chordae tendinae where it attaches um, and so if I can show you guys this, so this right here is our aortic semilunar valve. Um, you can kind of see there's some little flaps that kind of open up into it. And if I stick this right up here, we're going to come out the aorta. So that's how we know this is our aortic semilunar valve. We're coming right out of the aorta. So if I go back in through the aorta, I will come out my aortic semilunar valve and then right up here these flaps that you're seeing um, these are going to be the bicuspid valves these valves basically keep the blood flowing in one direction um, so it's not just going in and out and wherever it wants to um, and then let's see what else this guy being our pulmonary vein is going to come down in here into our left atrium and again we have our valves which kind of just open and close they're like little flaps and so I think outside of that that's pretty much the front and the inner of our heart um, if you can see how smooth this is on the inside that's the endocardium um, and that is basically so your blood doesn't have any friction when it's trying to flow in and out of here. Um, the outside is just going to be the myocardium. Um, is these kind of meaty portions that you guys are seeing. Um, and then back on the back side of the heart. Um, again, we have our aorta coming right up through the top. Here's our inferior vena cava, and if we're gonna go into the inferior vena cava, you can see it kind of looks similar. We still have our chordae tendinae right up here. Um, and then if you want to look in here, you can kind of see the pulmonary semilunar valve. So you can see up into the right atrium. Um, remember how I said the oracle is kind of your pouch that you're looking at? You can see inside the pouch now. Um, and then we still have, like I said, our chordae tendinae. 
And then this one, I think you can see the papillary muscle a little bit better. Um, it's kind of where all of our chordae tendinae are kind of attaching to right in there. Um, and then these striations of muscle are going to be um, the trabeculae carnae. It's kind of this kind of this interweaving of muscles. It was is kind of what it looks like. Um, and then right up here is the musculi pectinati, which is kind of just these muscles uh, in these straight lines. Um, and then if we look up here, or no, over here, this is our tricuspid valve. So it's kind of hard to see because we opened it up kind of on a weird spot, but we have three flaps. And these flaps, when this is closed, are what's going to open and shut to allow the movement of blood. Um, so this is our right ventricle. These are kind of our flaps. You can kind of see them under my fingers. Um, it's where those chordae tendinae are gonna be, be attached to. And then, let's see, our pulmonary semilunar valve um, is really just kind of in here. So we're kind of in the wrong side, but yeah, because that's my other portions of my aorta. This is some muscle that's attached. Um, other than that though, I mean, just to go over the outside again, we have the apex of the heart is our bottom, the base is the top, um, the oracles are our pouches, and the inside is the atrium, is the opening. Um, you can think auditorium, atrium, you know, big open space. And then we go down into our, let me show you this way, left oracle, and then right in here, how we get up into our aorta. Um, this is going to be the left ventricle down here. <laughs>